Hey guys, thank you for tuning back in. It's Eats with Ellie, but today I'm not eating, I am drinking. And I will not just be drinking water, I will be drinking ginger ale. G ginger ale water. I don't know. Okay, this is sugar free. And now this makes me uh, really question. Because I'm thinking it's, it's a little off, but have you ever watched those clips about the, the Harry Boo gummy candies that are sugar free that makes people go to the bathroom like crazy? That's the first thing I thought about when I read sugar free. So let's hope that that is not the case. I don't remember what that ingredient is called, but I don't think it's on here. But let us pray real quick. All right, that was great. So now I do love me some ginger ale, right? If you know me, you know ginger ale is like top three, top two. I'll say top two. Um, and I saw this and I said, you know what? Let's give this a try. I normally wouldn't, but I saw this at the store and I said, you know what? This is interesting. The delicious taste you know and love in any easy on the go packet. Canada Dry Ginger Ale Drink Mix brings a familiarly, familiar, familiarly, familiarly, that don't even sound right, refreshing flavor in every sip. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, so this comes six in a pack. I got this at Dollar General. Um, so it was a dollar for this pack, right? Uh, makes me question even more. No, I'm kidding. Um, says just add water. A 16.9 ounce bottle of water. Shake or stir until dissolved. So let us. I've got my water bottle. I'm a Poland Spring kind of girl. It's crazy. I was just um, reading some stuff on different waters because I think I remember someone posting about Poland Spring and Nestle being part of the same company which I don't believe I knew before. However, I have read something that Poland Spring, hopefully this was before, and I, I've been drinking Poland Spring for years, that they actually weren't using spring water, that they were using ground water. Um, so I don't know, but if that's what ground water tastes like, it tasted mighty good because I was guzzling Poland Spring before. I'm so thirsty, I really do want to drink some, but I'm gonna just wait. So I got my water here. I got my little packet. Table's on the side. All right, it says tear and I don't. Okay, cool, my teeth were sharp enough to cut this. All right, sometimes that could be a klutz, so let's hope this feels right. Are y'all ready? This don't even feel right. Imagine this is how they've been making our ginger ale this entire time. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Canada Dry. It's not my first go-to ginger ale option. I like Schweppes the best. So I want you to write in the comments, right? Which, now they said shake or stir shake or stir until dissolved okay so which shake 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 which ginger ale brand do you prefer I want you to put in the comments right which one do you prefer do you prefer Canada Dry do you prefer Schweppes I don't even remember the other brands that's how much the other ones don't really even count no matter I can't think of them right now but I know that they're not all that great. Sorry to break it to you. I will once in a while have other brands just because that's what's there or they're better than some of the other options. But which one do you prefer? So this has been shaking it up for maybe like a minute. I don't know if you can see what it says. I mean, I'm gonna look back at the time and I'm watching, I'll find out, but there's still a little bit piece here and there's still some pieces as you can see. So let's shake it up some more. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. My little dance. Shake, shake, shake. 
All right. So they definitely did have other flavors. They had some Starbucks. Starbucks, whoa. <laughs> they had some Starburst. Um, some other candy flavors. And I think they had 7-Up there as well. But I was like, you know what? Let's just go with ginger ale. I do like 7-Up. Um, it's not my, it'll probably be top. 7-Up definitely goes in my top five. It's like one of those sodas where you don't drink it until they don't have your option or if you're not feeling that well. Um, similar to Sprite, but I think Sprite over 7-Up. Sprite over 7-Up, for sure. Um, no, for those of you who are saying it tastes the same, just stop right there. It does not. But it's one of those sodas where, like, they don't really have your option. Or you're just craving soda and it's like, you, you need a specific type of flavor and you go for it and it just always hits right. But you can't, it's not a go-to. It's not a go-to, but I do love this one. All right, I think this is shaking up pretty well to me and it's gonna have to be good because I'm tired of shaking it up. But I know it needs to be shaken up right for it to taste right. And I think it is, look at all the gas. That's what I'm assuming that is, right? Look at that. Let's take off this label so you can really see. I'm giving Polar Spring some free advertisement. I like my coins, please. All right, cool. Take out the label so we can really see. We can really see what's happening. Okay. There's still some little particles, just a little bit. But let's take a taste and let's see. I'm so scared it's gonna spill. Okay. Did a little squirt sound. Okay, it smells gingery. It smells very gingery. Wow. It tastes flat. Now, one thing I hate most about any type of soda, I don't care what the brand is, is flat soda. But I guess it makes sense because you have the flavor and you have water, right? We're not using, ooh, if I would have done this with carbonated water. This probably would hit so different if I had carbonated water. Honestly, it doesn't taste awful because for some reason it tastes like iced tea with a hint of ginger. Now, you know how sometimes you just have a craving for a flavor of something and you don't want it to be water? This could be it, but mm -mm. But I guess this would be cool if you're like mixing drinks and um, you don't really have something and you have these packets. I'll give you a little favor in your drink. In your cocktail. That was decent. That was decent. Now, would I go out and purchase some more? I would try another flavor just for the heck of it, but I'm not exactly buying it because I like it. I would just buy the soda. I would just buy soda. But for purposes where you're outdoors and you need some flavor for your water or you're just in a place or position where you can't really carry soda like that. I guess like on a plane, right? If you're on a plane and oh, I wonder what it will taste like if I had less water in here because it'll be a little bit more potent. I might have to try that out. Um, I really am not interested in wasting another bottle of water right now on um, <laughs> on this because I don't want to really drink it. I guess I could save it. It doesn't seem like it's really going to go bad. It'll just sit there. But if I was on a plane and I had these packets, I can always ask for a cup of water and put these in, right? So that kind of works there. Um, if you're hiking and you can't carry all this other stuff, but you know you're going to be able to get water along the way or you have water on you, you could put this in there just to give you some flavor you know um it's sugar free so you're not really that's also probably why it's not good it's sugar free Ugh. that that's probably the start of it sugar free probably the first part but honestly the flavor is not that bad it's not that bad 
So depending on where you're going or the circumstances you're going to be in, it would be smart to have these packets if you if you like these flavors, right? Whether it's this one or another one, it's almost like having Kool-Aid, a packet of Kool-Aid, just this is a different flavor, right? This is ginger ale flavor, Canada dry ginger ale flavor. But um, try it out, right? I want you to try this out. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you'd get it again. What flavors did you try? Did you try a whole bunch, right? Let's try it and um, tag me below, let me know. So thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like me to try another flavor, right? If you want me to try some other things specifically, feel free to send me a message or just put it in the comments below. And I will be so happy to, to test it out and to share my thoughts or my experience. This is Eats with Ellie. Well, today's Drinks with Ellie. Bye.